adaptive triggers. Adaptive triggers are one particular feature on the DualSense controllers that sets the DualSense controllers ahead of lots of their competitors such as the Xbox and Nintendo Switch, especially when connected to the PS5. But then there's always a letdown that when you connect your PS5 controller, the DualSense controllers to PC, you can't really use the adaptive triggers. But what if I told that there was actually a way to use those adaptive triggers on the DualSense controller on your PC? Well, <laughs> let me show you how. It's actually not complicated at all. In case you don't know what the adaptive triggers actually do, the adaptive triggers actually help the controller have a specific action when playing certain games like Spider-Man, GTA, or maybe a shooting game like Call of Duty. Well, in case you want to know how, let's proceed and let me show you how to do so. So the first thing you want to do will be search up DualSense X on Google, and you'll see the very first site there, which is this, the DualSense X website and you wait for the page to load and when you see this you immediately download the app and then you see that there's a paid version and there's also the free version if you guys want me to make a free version versus a steam paid version you guys let me know in the comment section below and i'll show you the difference between the two of them and I'll actually get the paid version just for you guys but what you want to do right now is the dsx free download version you click the download button and then the download should start any moment now then you download the software you notice that it's in a zip archive we're going to unpack that and i'll show you guys how to actually use this it's actually pretty very easy so all you just have to do is open DualSense x and once you've opened DualSense x you press next and then you'll see the language of your choice you select the language of your choice for me i'm using english united states obviously then you press next and you wait for it to refresh and get everything set Obviously, they'll ask you, they'll say that there's an update, but this update isn't really necessary because this will just take you to the Steam page to get the paid version of DualSense X. As I said, if you guys want to see a comparison between the paid version and the free version, let me know in the comment section below and I'll get that done just for you guys. And then you press later. As you can see, this is DualSense X. Welcome to DualSense X. So once you've successfully connected your DualSense controller to your laptop using either Bluetooth or a USB cable, then you can finally use DualSense X. As you can see, there are lots of various stuff you can do. You can change the LED color. You can also change the emulation status from Xbox 360 to DualShock 4 or the mic LED, the rainbow speed, the brightness of the LED lights, etc, etc. But what we're actually doing here today, what we mainly do here today, is just to adjust the adaptive triggers of the PlayStation 5 controller. So to do that, you just have to go to controller mode, where there's normal trigger, custom trigger values, bow, galloping, semi-automatic gun. As you can see, there are various modes of the adaptive triggers you can customize your DualSense controller to. For example, let's try rigid, rigid trigger. You select whether you want it to be on the left trigger or the right trigger or both triggers itself and you just press apply and now that i've applied the rigid trigger to the dualsense controller now you feel that the dualsense triggers are really really stiff and you can also test out various adaptive trigger modes such as hard trigger which makes it a little bit choppy but also clicky as you can see it's really clicky and then also there's my favorite for FPS games, which is Automatic Gun. It makes it not too smooth, but also kind of silent and reduces the dead zones around the controller itself. You can test out various automatic modes. I think there are about 12 or 13 of them. So, and also you can use this for FPS games too that require like heavy intensity games like Doom Eternal, which makes the right trigger vibrate heavily. As you can see, you can hear the clicking noises. You can hear how the trigger vibrates itself so you can try this out mess around with any of this but when you're using the vibrating triggers make sure you don't increase the intensity of the vibration above 40 if not you could fight um you could actually damage the triggers itself so you can mess around with this and tell me what you think about it in the comment section below so now I'm pretty sure you all know how to enable the adaptive triggers on the DualSense controllers when connecting them to your PC. And yeah, if this actually helped you, don't forget to like, share and subscribe because yeah, that will also help me out. And by the way, remember, leave a comment in the comment section below if you actually still want to see the difference between the DualSense X paid version of Steam versus the DualSense free version and I'll let you guys know the difference. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe once again. I'm that tech guy. See you guys soon in the next video.